here after playing Fortnite and I suck. But um yeah. So I'm playing Man 20 now. And yeah, I'm just gonna play some games. Can they not show Mr. Still one handing my team? Big numbers. That's the brown. That's the um. That's the ring. Yeah, be like seventy-two. Trying to look for a really, really, really bad team. Browns facing the Packers. Packers. Okay. Super Bowl. Seven minutes. Jonathan Coachman and this. Okay. All right, Coach, we are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight it's oh, I'm playing the Packers. Oh, crap. Nope. I forgot to change my controllers, you know. Like, couldn't. Like, I gotta go on my Browns, right? Like, I, I gotta go on my, my Browns. Right, we play for the Lombardi Trophy. As it'll be the first time champions of the AFC, the Cleveland Browns, taking on the NFC champions, the Green Bay Packers. Brandon God and Charles Davis through the for this one. CD all eyes on the, on the Browns. AFC champs. What a story. The Cleveland Browns, their first yeah. Super Bowl appearance ever. 0-16 just two seasons ago, and now four quarters away from a Super Bowl title. An utterly remarkable turnaround. There's no other way to put it. Fan base, can you imagine how desperate they've been for this day, for this opportunity to come around? They have to go back to 1964 for their last title in the NFL. That's pre-Super Bowl era. They beat the Colts 27 to nothing in that one. Frank Ryan, Jim Brown. These fans are tired of hearing about the past. They're tired of hearing about the All-American Football Conference, how the Browns came into the NFL and blew everyone away. They've got their team now. They're tied, and they want to win. Meanwhile, the Packers are back as they look to bring another Super Bowl title home to a place aptly named Title Town. And they're looking for their fifth win, which would tie them with the Cowboys oh, and 49ers for geez, second all time. Pick. They did last win it in 2011 out of Super Bowl 45. Aaron Rodgers leading them over the Pittsburgh Steelers. But when you talk about titles, and you mentioned Title Town, They've won 13 championships overall when you count all the NFL titles prior to the Super Bowl era as well. So this is a town that's used to winning, and they expect to win this one as well. Now, now oh. here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Blake Martinez, the linebacker, was there in coverage to disrupt. So now third and ten, they had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletion sets. He finds Beckham complete. And he takes oh. it down deep into Green Bay territory. That one goes for 36 yards. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a start right out of them. So a big play as it gets them all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. 
from the red zone now. They'll look to throw. It's caught by OBJ. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. With the first touchdown of the Super Bowl. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Personally for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You got a lot to handle in this one. The Packers offense led out by number 12, Aaron Rodgers, making his second Super Bowl start. And this is a career-defining night for Rodgers. A second title would surely cement his legacy. He'd love to take a repeat of his performance in Super Bowl 45. Oh, 340 yards, that, three touchdowns en route to MVP honors. And throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They'll oh, go with the leading too. rusher from a season ago. This is Aaron Jones. Jones. And he is met quickly it wasn't in the backfield. So that Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out. Because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're they playing in they the pong? offense's they backfield. Pong? Not huh? necessarily just playing with the line of scrimmage. All right. There's an example Let me, um, of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was. The down and distance and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that bring up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, uh, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure they didn't give up much run after game. I really never call. The Browns drive about to get started. And certainly they'll be hoping to hit pay dirt like they did on the last drive. Got the football back, so a chance to go up two scores. And they haven't been tentative at all in this ball game. Jeez, Nick Chubb! You start a game with script to try More yards with the face mask. Defense. How will they play you in certain situations? Defense. Sometimes you script to attack. Jeez, and that's what nice, I'm seeing so nice, far. Nice, nice. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. Following the penalty, Chubb. Missed. This will not go down. And he'll get this one down near oh the Oh my god, I love Chubb's game. Just shy of the He's a good announcer. That one good for 37 yards. Ah, oh, the no, they're covering a it. Two, or two deep zone. Safeties are back a little ways. What they're you're covering it. Is the guy's taking care of business up front, <laughs> and it may be climbing to the second Ooh. level. That offensive lineman or tight end getting up to the second Boy, level. Wait, we're gonna run this in. in order to create a big run. Yeah, making those linemen work with a couple <laughs> blocks. They look good doing it there. Nick Chubby on this They'll one. Run with Chubb. Trying to turn the corner, but they string him out and stop him at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line. Second and goal. A run for Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb. And he'll barrel his way into the end zone. Did Nick Chubb just... An eight-yard touchdown run. Nick Chubb And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how we're going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. Joseph now to kick this one away. Good idea. Now 
this offense ready to head back out there. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. A little jet sweep to start oh, the drive. Actual jet sweep. And All right. able to get this one across the 35. 13 yards, first down, Packers. First play of the drive. Jeez, I do. Run. Just sets up Washburn's repeat. Another first down. All right. Rodgers throwing quickly out to Adams. Oh, I just got my ankle. Be brought Whoa. down right at the 45 yard line. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. Second down, it's Jones. And nope. it's tackled down after a nope. gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. I'm going to run. And here's the, the starting nastiest third blitz. for Cleveland. When you're the number the one overall pick in the NFL seen. draft of 2017, puts a little extra scrutiny. Defensive end Miles Garrett is certainly used to it. In 2018, came into his own his second year in the league with 13 and a half sacks. Did and I? Really expects to increase what just that happened to my guy? Holy crap. And he just falls short down at the one yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. To throw oh, crap. Rogers. Yeah, to he's got the connection to the tight end, Graham. Touchdown, Packers. A one-yard touchdown pass as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Well, the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion. This time for the score. Now, I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play. Got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. I try to cut it off. Get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Charles, as Cleveland gets set to start this next drive, you know, things are really unraveling for the Browns. Four straight losses now after the loss against Denver in Week 9, and that mm -hmm. loss to Denver was against a team that was struggling themselves and had a quarterback making his first career start. Struggling doesn't even begin to say what they were facing against that offense because Denver, when I saw them against Kansas City, and you know how Kansas City struggled on defense, they destroyed Denver's offense. <laughs> Sacked the Jeez. quarterback nine times. That's Didn't not a the face game mask, to get is started. it? Not much going wow. on good in Denver. Defense. But when you talk about Cleveland, the thing that surprises me the most, they're not getting blown out. They just don't know how to win close games. And that's something that has to happen and shouldn't be a real surprise considering <laughs> what their recent history has been. 0-16. Oh, no. oh, I just did that. Oh, that's they my own fault. Way to get over the hump. Yeah, two and six, and now coming up, they'll play Buffalo, Pittsburgh, and Miami. They need wins, and they need them in a hurry. They go with Chubb on second down. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And now running right Jimmy. through. And oh, he's going to be brought Ooh. down by the face mask. Ooh. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first Nick down. Nick Chubb got absolutely buffed. Official so Wait, cognizant of that call now. I think this could be wide open. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a fifteen yard inadvertent or not. Half bad draw, boy. Oh uh, yeah. And Johnson. And they see right through that defensively. As he'll be hit and mm -hmm. taken down to the backfield. The start of the second quarter, and it's the Browns in control of the football as they've got it second down and 11. The start of the second quarter, and it's the Browns in control of the football as they've got it second down and 11. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. A toss play to Chubb. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Nick Chubb, his second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. 
And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there to have and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Short hit. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. I could throw a nasty blitz. Yeah. Packers coming back out here offensively, and even though they lost in week nine, they're still at seven and two and still on top of the NFC North. So oh, probably no. not too much to read into that week nine. Th this is Interesting not week for the NFC North. Oh, good thing they Remember earlier this season when they were crowing about every team in the NFC North was above 500? Ooh, Boy, things really changed on this past yeah. week. But how about for Green Bay, though? Yeah, sure. A clunker of a game out west Everyone's against the Chargers. Man. This really wraps things up for the return home because if you want to say yes, this will be a Brown sack. Ooh, that might be a good play. I mean, I can't run it again because we're going to go wrong. If I rush like that, I follow it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. Nope. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback no. and get a completion. No. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally oh, to the ball God. after the catch and stop him short of a first down. Defense. Well, they got the ball already. They're not going to risk the yardage and running another fourth down. They declined it. And what was that they taught you in law school, that possession is nine-tenths of the law? I didn't go to law school. Oh, you didn't? I thought you did. Well, I feel I'm going to give that to you anyway. Possession is nine-tenths of the law, and it's nine-tenths of this game, too, having the football counts. You say that too good. They can't get Nick Chubb. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here, and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Automatic first down. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and ten. Here's Mayfield. He finds his target, Beckham. There he goes, left side. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. What time is it? Okay, let's go. Oh, now Beckham, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. The electric OBJ, the short reception, and then he did the rest of the work himself. You know, there's a thing that the players always talk about, the coaches in the league, they call it play speed. Because, you know, we have that time speed when we're running the 40s at the combine and, you know, at pro days and all of that. But play speed is different. And OBJ's play speed is some of the best in the league. In other words, when he has a ball in his hands or he's running around, he runs it just a little bit harder than most people. And oftentimes, you come up wrong on your angles trying to tackle it. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement. Down on the scoreboard, maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The safety, Morgan Burnett that time, gets home for the sack. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. Here's Rodgers to throw. It's caught here by Adams. Did he just He finds an opening past the 40. There he goes, right side. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Devontae Adams. 74 yards. And the Packers make some inroads here on that deficit. 
Well, Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, just a deadly combination, and we see why right there. And we've seen it develop over the years because when Devontae Adams first joined the Packers, he had to earn the trust of the quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. He has it in a big way now. He'll throw it to him long, he'll throw it to him short, but he always expects a big play to result. Adams, former second-round pick out of Fresno State, plays like a first-round pick in the NFL. The offense trots back out there. Let's turn our focus now to Nick Chubb. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. They go play action here on first down. They'll let it go deep for oh, Beckham. And nearly picked it's off impressive. there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there oh, no. until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Oh, he had a on two. second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. He was trying to go back to Beckham there, and it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And it's caught, Beckham. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Stepping aside from this game for a second, how about us being in week 10 of the NFL season right now? That makes me want to resurface that MVP talk we had. Now a clash of oh, bodies here and it's intercepted. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys looked to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. A pass there over the middle to start things out. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference out of No way to escape and he goes down. Christian Kirksey. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. The Packers on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and forever. From the gun, it's Rodgers. He's going to walk one deep left side here. And he bats it away, and it Sorry, falls God. down Sorry. incomplete. Oh, never mind. I was just going to check. Veteran Morgan Burnett there yeah, on guys, the coverage. Punt, I'm gonna go so they look like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Here comes the pressure, and the Browns block it. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. The Browns are in. Touchdown. Yeah, I'm going to have to end the stream here. Sorry, guys. It's black and But, uh, yeah. Sorry.